All right, so let's change strings on the, uh, the uh, steel string acoustic here. So the, the string I'm going to change is the high E string, that string. And the first thing you want to do is, before you do anything, is make sure you lower the tension in the string. Just basically tune it all the way down. Don't go clipping that string or anything because it'll just you know, pop up in your face. Don't go pulling the, uh, the peg out. Make sure that it's all the way, you know, the tension is all the way released. And the way you do that is you twist your tuning peg until you hear the sound going down. Keep it going down. And usually it'll get down to something uh, inaudible, which is right about there. And so what we've got now, as you can see, the string is pretty, uh, pretty loose. And if I get close here, what we're going to want to do is just keep twisting the tuning peg until I can pull the string out of the hole here. Sometimes you have to go around a few times until you can get it. It's just about there. Yep, see now I can kind of unwind it and you can see it just slides right out of the hole like that. And obviously it was just laying across the nut. There wasn't anything holding it in other than tension. And so now the string is completely loose all the way down and the only thing that's holding it in is this little peg here uh, on the bridge. Now this is a common setup and uh, with steel string acoustics is you'll usually see something like this. You'll see these little pegs that hold them and hold the strings in place. Now we can try and pull this, the peg out with your fingers. Sometimes you can get it out. That one's a little tight. So what I usually do is I grab a pair of uh, needle nose pliers, grab onto that peg and just pop it out like that. Make sure you don't lose these things. I've done that before. And once you get the peg out, then the string will just come right out of the hole, like, just like that. Okay, so when you open a new set of strings, what I usually do is uh, I try and keep them in order <laughs> because they actually put them, they usually put them in the right order, uh, you know, lowest to highest or highest to lowest. Uh, and you can, the way you can tell what goes where is you, you're just looking at these numbers here. These are the different gauges. So 54 is the highest gauge, which means that's the low E. There's your A string, there's your D string, there's your G string, there's your B string, and then all the way to the 12, which is your high E string. Well, that's the one we need. So we'll take this and we'll go ahead and put it on. We just pull the string out of the pack. It's usually nice and neatly wound, coiled up like that. And we'll uncoil it. Now you can see uh, one end of the string has this little ball on the end like that. That's the end that goes into the guitar, into the body, into the bridge of the guitar. Um, so what you want to do is find that uh, little hole where the peg was, and you just push the string in a little ways. You don't have to go too far with it. And then find your peg, which I'm looking for. So you got to, I just said don't lose your peg. Oh, here it is. <laughs> yeah, you find your peg. peg. Now these pegs um, have little grooves in them. I don't know if this shows up or not, but uh, what I do is I take that groove and I let the string kind of rest in that groove. Um, I th assume that most guitars with pegs have that, or most pegs have that little groove. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take the the uh, let me get closer. I'm going to take the peg and I'm going to put it in the hole where the groove is. F the groove is facing um, you know towards the uh, neck. I'm just going to push it all the way down in there with just with my finger. I don't need a hammer or anything. And then I'm going to pull this string until it kind of pops into place like that. Okay, so then we take our string here and we uh, I always just kind of rest it here into the nut. There's a little groove there in the nut where it kind of rests. And what I do is I, I wind it around one, maybe two times uh, just to take some of the tension out of the, uh, uh, the extra string that they give you. Uh, around this tuning peg and then I just poke, uh, poke it back through the hole and pull it so that it's kind of wound around there. Obviously it's still very loose and the, and the string may or may not stay in the uh, in the groove in the, in the nut but just try and keep it there. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune it up. Now when you tune it up uh, always make sure that the strings are to, to go up in pitch you're always going towards the body. That's the way I think of it. So if I'm on this side, uh, you know, I'm going this way, and if I'm on this side, I'm going this way. Uh, so you're actually going uh, clockwise to tune up if you're, if you're looking at the, uh, 
at the tuning peg. So anyway, I'm going to twist it. You can go the other way. There's, you know, it'll tune the other way. Either way, it's going to add tension, but it's best to be kind of consistent. Follow some standards. So you can hear what's happening is as I tune it. Now it's starting to sound like something. Now I'm going to reach down with my right hand and kind of hold that that uh, peg in place because it will pop. Did you hear that? See now it's back down. See it popped again. It'll do that two or three times usually. There it goes again. Eventually it'll stop popping. So you get it pretty high. Don't go too high. And then what I do is for this high E string, and you can see this better in, in the lesson that I have on how to tune your guitar, but I'll go ahead, ahead to the, the uh, fifth fret on the second string, and that's the note I'm trying to match. And there you go. So that string is in tune. Now what's going to happen is, that string is going to slowly slide out of tune, you know, over the course of the next, I don't know, a few minutes. Uh, and so that's just normal. You, I'll check it again. Watch. Well, give it a few minutes, and it'll it'll slack back off. And you just have to keep kind of adding tension. And after, I don't know, three or four tries, it'll uh, eventually get in tune and it'll stay. And one thing you can do to kind of expedite that process is you can take, I always kind of bend it, actually forcing extra tension, and then try it. Hear the difference? See how it knocked it out of tune? And push it back into tune, tune or bend it again. Try it again. So that's pretty good. Now, all we got to do is we have a little bit of excess here. A guitar needs a haircut. Now, some people actually just leave that, you know, the extra string up there. That kind of drives me crazy. So all you do is you clip it. Now, don't clip it too close to the to the uh, the tuning peg. You you can, but the problem is sometimes the string will actually, for whatever reason, the tension loosens, and if that string goes back through that hole you've kind of lost the string because it's too short to do anything with. So I always kind of clip it, I don't know, I always leave about about an inch or so um, and try and tuck this somewhere so they won't poke anything. That's uh, the one bad thing about these strings are if you, if you you know touch one with the end of your finger or it'll get caught on your jacket or something it, it's kind of painful. So there you go. That is a uh, a new string on a on a steel string acoustic. Now let's take a look at the nylon string.